work and I went to my mate. They've obviously been nicked, didn't they? So we literally, you know, done a U-turn, spun around, run back to my ass, five minutes away, got in his room, cleared, you know, he had shit everywhere, fucking paint, pens, books, pictures, oh, all God. sorts of stuff, clearing it all out, clearing it all out, fucking yeah. hiding it somewhere else. Took a deep breath, you know, you've cleared it, it's all good. And as I said earlier on, like, I could see, like, Ribs' ass, you could see from the back of my mum's ass, you know, that's, what, that's how it was. So we cleared, cleared the room out, I thought, this is all right, this is good. We went upstairs, looked out the back window, and see the old Bill outside his ass, and we thought, fuck, five minutes, they'll be round here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally, that's what happened. And, <laughs> and I said to my mum, look, mum, this, like, police, they're gonna come, I think, it's like, my brother's been nicked, da 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 my mum wasn't stupid, you know. I think she 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 liked to think we was angels, but she knew what we got up to. <laughs> but my mum was, you know, we had a back garden, and you know, how fucking hot me as a fifteen year old kid. My mum would say, "Oh yeah, just paint out there in the back garden. There's a white wall. Just paint over it when you're done." So I'm out there doing beam dubs, you know, like yeah, proper yeah. hot, you know. <laughs> how, how hot can you be doing beam dubs? And this was prior to the old Bill turning up, any, you know, prior to yeah, any yeah, of this yeah. happening. You were just minding your business, doing a couple yeah, of dubs yeah, in the back garden. You know, taking yeah. it easy, you know, as you do. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, old Bill would turn up, they started raiding the ass, and my mum started giving them grief. What the fuck are you doing here? No, you can fuck off. You effing this, you effing that. Uh, and they was like, look, we need to do our job. She was like, what are you talking about, you silly cunt? She pointing at me. I let him paint out in the back garden. I'm going to her. Fucking don't. Fucking don't. Kill a killer. Kill a Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct central London or as central as you could be. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hodder Wars Summer 2024. Old tight chrome and black, the legendary big up zombie. First and foremost, though, don't forget sharing is caring, it's very important. It's part of the culture's DNA to spread the good gospel, the word of what's happening. Uh, 500 and God knows how many episodes, and we salute you. Um, out on the street, it's buzzing, the things are happening. BVS is in the building, beeping the place. How are you, my brother? Oh, I'm good, mate. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Where have you good. come from? Thanks for having me. You know, I've just finished work as it goes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, so no, I've sort of. Flew across after work, but uh, no, thanks for having me. I feel uh, we're privileged to be here. So. Yeah, well, it's the first of, uh, of many in the spot, you know. Yeah, yeah. It feels nice to sort of be here as well, you know. As yeah. I was just saying, it's the first time I've been down for a while, so yeah, yeah. No, it's nice to be here. All, the, all, the, all the commotions that go on, um, translating the streets and into yeah. the graph world. Uh, how is it for you at the moment? Yeah, it's all right, you know. I suppose for me, I'm, I'm one of them. I sort of, like I was saying, you know, I've got to, you know, you've got to work, you yeah. know, you want to, got to live and all that. So for me, it's... Work, 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 and as and when I get a little bit of time, mm. I'll go and do a bit of painting, you know, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, long gone are those thuggerish, crazy times. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? <laughs> the funny thing is, I suppose, for me, I was painting, well, when I, you know, when I was at, like, like most... I don't know, I suppose like most kids really. Troublemakers, the yeah, lot of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sort of get out, don't you, and you, you know, you tag up your blocks or tag up school or... You know, you fuck about on the railways, you know, that's what we used to do as kids, really. Uh, my brother was a uh, writer. Um, and just... Do we have a name? Uh, yeah, so my brother used to write Elf. Yeah, I mean, I don't want, you know, I can't mean to speak, I haven't done anything, anything illegal for a long time, so I don't mean to talk about Elf. Days. We see you. But uh, yeah, no, so I suppose for me, like, we grew up in a little part of sort of South East London, you know. Um, but for me, like, for our area, it was, um, there was so many writers there, you know, just, you know, just if you put into a square mile, say, mm. a ton of writers come from that area. And, you know, some of them are still sort of doing bits today. Uh, some not. But I suppose, yeah, it's just being in that environment, and everyone's yeah. everyone's on it. And, uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm not one of these that done years and years and years and putting the work in. I, I don't know, I suppose I've done a few years. Again, you know, work gets in the way, life gets in the way, and then before you know it, it's sort of 
Jesus. But there is something about that sharp shot poof, explosion, mm. that tenaciousness to want to like get busy. Yeah, do you know what? <laughs> I think for me, like, I suppose, you know, since I stopped, you know, I've come back into writing through my missus, funnily enough. I think she had said to me, oh, why don't you go and paint or something, you know? Like, oh, I'll get you some paint. Just, just a, a random thing, like, oh, just, you know, because I was always sketching. I yeah. never stopped sketching. Um, Unleash you know. the beast. Yeah, doing a few outlines and all that. But um, so she said, oh, why don't you just go and paint? And I think, you know, I'd gone back to Leak Street sort of thing, you know, done the legal thing. And I thought, yeah, this is all right. And sort of carried on from there. But I think you, you always get that itch. You know, you always get the itch, like you might see a runner. And you think, oh, fucking you know, hell, I'd love to be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I suppose I'm a... I don't know, a responsible adult, shall I say <laughs> really? that? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't, can't really do it no more. But, um, yeah, the itch is still there. Fowl always says to me every now and then, oh, we're going to paint a train, going to paint a train. Oh, fucking hell, mate, I'd love to, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no. that shock wall. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know, I think it's one of them, though. Like, uh, when I was sort of, when, you know, when we was getting about and doing stuff and, you know, doing trains and all that. We'd sort of catch runners every now and then, but nowadays, I mean, I think, like these days, it's brilliant. It's fucking trains, I'll get off going to work in the morning, there's trains pulling in all the time, you know, it's brilliant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I, I suppose for me, it's, you know, you see some of the guys doing their, you know, going out to Europe and all that and doing them trains and sort of, just popping back in, that's quite I don't nice know what he's talking do. about, personally. <laughs> 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 I think, yeah, I suppose, yeah, so the itch is still there, but do you know what? For me, I suppose I quite like painting a legal wall now and, you know, having a beer, chilling out, you know, just taking it easy. And uh, it, it does me, you know, it, yeah. it, it itches to scratch, you know. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, Well, let's take it back. Let's take it back to those more informative years yeah. <laughs> of troublemaking. Because South really does hold a crown mm. for so many dons, yeah. doesn't it? I mean, you know, give us, give us some of the influences, people that at the time. So, so I suppose for me, influence is cool, zombie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Natural, I think oh, everyone, you know, yeah. you know, holds him in high regard. And, you know, it was no different for me seeing all the early stuff. Um, Cause you know all, all these sort of guys that was out there smashing it, you know. But for me, where I where I was brought up, you had people like well, you know still doing like Pine, mm. uh, you know Pine and them lot. They was a bit older than me, so Pine Fats. Uh, you had Nit, who you know me and mm -hmm. Nit went to school together. Uh, really? You had Bros Ribs, so Ribs was like we was family friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he lived on one street, I lived on the other. His brothers were writers as well, so I used to go out of his younger brother painting. Ribs and my brother was obviously, you know, partners in crime, if yeah, you like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's crazy because yeah. it's funny that, 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 you know, in close proximity, there yeah, was always yeah. a writer. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how common that is nowadays, really. Do you know what? I, I, I don't know, you know. I don't know. It seems like, uh, you know, and that's just to name a few, you know, you've got people like Bams. Yeah. You know, Bams was from round our way as well, you know. It's just untold writers. He was from round your way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all, all, of, all, of, these, all of these writers in, you know, close proximity to each other. Um, Alds, you know, I appreciate these days, you know, a lot of this stuff back in the day, like these boys was out, they was getting about active and all that. And, um, you know, they've probably fallen off. I know Pine Fats and all them lot still get about, they yeah, do their yeah, thing. Yeah, still doing their thing. Yeah, Bash, he was fucking... Mm. Insane, you know, black books and mm. shit like that. Just fucking insane, insane stuff. And then, of course, you had Fowl, he was my mate, you know. Yeah. We was, again, since kids, you know, brought up as kids together, you know, playing football and all that, and you naturally just progress into a bit of vandalism and fucking taking liberties, so. That's mad. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it, yeah, it was good times. It was good times. I think, uh, yeah, you sort of look back and you think, Fucking hell, I, you know, and you hear people say that all the time. Fuck me, I don't know. How I got away with some stuff, or give me the give, you know. give us give us all an example of how you how you, on earth you got away with something. I don't know. Do you know what? I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> well, this this was a close show. So my brother and ribs got nicked in. Um, they got nicked in South Kensington uh, years back, and I suppose at the time I was about sixteen, and um, <sighs> my mum got rest her soul. <laughs> She was, uh, she was a character, to say the least. Anyway, my brother and Ribs had got nicked. My brother was smart enough to give the old Bill 
my mobile number. <laughs> so I was walking, I was literally walking through the flats, going to the shop with Bros. He was, you know, say I used to paint with him a lot. And uh, I got a phone call and it was like, oh, Mr. So-and-so, um, we've got your son. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, he's been arrested. And I said, can I ask what for? And they said, no, we can't, you know, I don't know what they said, we can't disclose that, whatever it was yeah, at yeah, the time. Yeah. I went, all right, and I went to my mate. They've obviously been nicked, didn't they? So we literally, you know, done a U-turn, spun around, run back to my ass, five minutes away, got in his room, cleared, you know, he had shit everywhere, fucking paint, pens, books, pictures, oh, all God. sorts of stuff, clearing it all out, clearing it all out, fucking yeah. hiding it somewhere else. Took a deep breath, you know, you've cleared it, it's all good. And as I said earlier on, like, I could see, like, Ribs' ass, you could see from the back of my mum's ass, you know, that's, what, that's how it was. So we cleared, cleared the room out, I thought, this is all right, this is good. We went upstairs, looked out the back window, and see the old Bill outside his ass, and we thought, fuck, five minutes, they'll be round here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally, that's what happened. And, <laughs> and I said to my mum, look, Mum, this like police, they're gonna come. I think it's like my brother's been nicked. Da, 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 da. My mum wasn't stupid, you know. I think she 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 liked to think we was angels, but she knew what we got up to. <laughs> but my mum was, you know, we had a back garden, and you know, how fucking hot me as a fifteen-year-old kid. My mum would say, "Oh yeah, just paint out there in the back garden. There's a white wall. Just paint over it when you're done." So I'm out there doing beam dubs, you know, like yeah, proper yeah. hot, you know. <laughs> how, how hot can you be doing beam dubs? And this was prior to the old Bill turning up, any, you know, prior to yeah, any yeah, of this yeah. happening. You were just minding your business, doing a couple yeah, of dubs yeah, in the back you know, taking yeah. it easy, you know, as you do. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, old Bill would turn up, they started raiding the ass, and my mum started giving them grief. What the fuck are you doing here? No, you can fuck off. You effing this, you effing that. Uh, and they was like, look, we need to do our job. She was like, what are you talking about, you silly cunt? She pointing at me. I let him paint out in the back garden. I'm going to her, fucking don't, fucking <laughs> yeah, don't, no, don't do it. No. You know, and, she's, uh, and I thought that was a bit of a close show because I thought fuck, they could have had two birds with one stone there, but... Uh, well, they didn't go and check it. No, no, no. It's sort of, I was like, you know, trying to create a bit of commotion so it was that it didn't quite register and all that. And luckily... All decoy, done, all decoy. Yeah, I was sort of like creating a bit of noise and... Um, and thank God they didn't. They just done what they needed to do, and and that was it really. And they buggered off. So. Wow! But so that was a close shave. Yeah, that was a close shave. <laughs> so it, and everything got cleared. Yeah, it did for me. Yeah, I mean, I you know I was all right. I, I think my yeah my my brother obviously he got nicked, and yeah I think he I don't know he went caught and got away with it, got fined, something like that. You know nothing nothing uh, too nothing too sad really. I just find it you know I mean I know we're talking in retrospect here don't try any of this stuff at home because it'll only get deeper in, you know, from here on in but there is a mindset and I'm I'm still trying to uh, over the years still trying to figure out because you know speaking to you now yeah. it's all on reflection yeah yeah but there still is that in you it's just been tamed yeah definitely like well, how do you because there must be some stuff you do and you go, oh, man, what, why did I do that? Or could have done that better. Could I? Yeah. But, but it probably wouldn't, if it wasn't for responsibilities, it probably wouldn't stop you doing it again. No, probably not. Do you know what? I suppose for me, like, it's my missus. I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want her to fucking, you know, me get nicked, you know, me lose my job. You know, I've got a good job. I've been at it for years. It's one of them jobs where, you know, criminal records, it, it's just going to fuck me up. So I've got it good. And plus, I want, you know, I want my missus to... You know, I wouldn't want to fucking leave her alone, you know, get it by a train or something like that. You know, it's yeah. too much responsibility for me, do you know? Yeah. So so that's what tames me. I must admit, I think I think it was Pie and Fats, Enza, I think Slob and a few... I see some of their sort of European trains and yeah. I was like, oh, fucking hell. I don't know what it was about seeing that particular... Train and it's you know it's just, oh, and it's them and I'd you love know, to be doing yeah. that you know them you know oh you know I'd love to be doing that but no as as I say it's yeah nowadays for me it's just uh, yeah just chilling going to going to the legal spots I think for some for I'm a lot a boring of people <laughs> no well I think with graph you you if you're on a timeline of of I don't know I think graph services people differently as they get older yeah i think so I th do you know what for me it's it's like uh 
it's like chill time for me. You know, that's 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 the way I find it. I just go and zone out and paint and just it's just like a de stress, you know. That's why you know, my missus, shout out to Jen. <laughs> my missus um, she she said to me, um I think at the time she first said to me, Why don't you paint or something? Because I used to get stressed out of work. Hmm. And she said, just go and go and get some paint and you know, yeah. and just that was about a few three or four years ago, you know. I keep trying to get like my brother back out. Ribs back out. I think we've done a few little silly bits, but they're like, no, they, they, the legal stuff for them's boring. It's not. It's not interesting. There's no thrill. Yeah. You know. So they're like, nah, you're all right. You know, leave it at that. But uh, no, I like, I like it. You know. I think for me, I like. I like the whole lot. I like the, you know, when I'm not out painting, when I've got some time. You know, I love black books. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea for me. I love them. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I've got more pens than you can shake a stick at. You know, I fucking draw for the pens and all sorts and. Yeah, I, I love a black book. I love a black book, you know, so... I always find black books interesting because you, you get a real opportunity to experiment. Like, do, does does a lot of that come from paper to surface? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think I think it... it yeah, I, I, do you know what? I like trying... I mean, not that I've got wild style or nothing like that, I mean, fuck me, but I, I like to try and just shake things up a little bit, try different things. I... I can't paint the same thing all the time. It's sort of, I get a bit bored. So mm. I, I like to, I don't know, flare here, kick there, whatever it might yeah. be. But I think for me, like the black book thing, or the love of black books come from, and I don't know how I got hold of this book. I couldn't tell you. It would have been, it would have come from, it, again, it would have come from Pine, Bash or Fats, and it would have gone to my brother, and it ended up in my hands, and there was this black book, and I'm going back to, you know, two, early 2000s, I don't know, 2001, 2002. And this black book, it had, I think, I think the first page it opened up, there was like a vamp piece in it. What? Yeah, vamp pieces. There was, I, I don't know, there was Enza in there. There might have been some Enza bombs or there was some Cosa bombs or some band throw ups and shit like that. Uh, Where did this black book come from? Knows. And do you know what? I, I couldn't tell you what happened to it either. I, I don't know. I don't know if the police took it. I, I lost a load of pictures at one point. I, I couldn't even tell you where they, where they went. But that black book was fucking gold, and I'd love to have it to go, to just look at it again, and see the different bits and pieces, and the different throw ups, different tags, whatever it was. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I wonder if them guys think, "Fuck, whatever happened to that?" I mean, it ended up with me, and <laughs> fuck knows what I done yeah. with it. So uh, passed down yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 across the uh, <laughs> across the graph landscape. And that was the thing for me. That was that was the, since I saw that black book, I was like, right, this is what it's all about, you know. So yeah. I, when I can't go out and paint, I'll, you know, sketch, do yeah. a black book, you know, do a tube map, yeah. fucking whatever, do a canvas, I don't mind. So, um, oh, it's, yeah. it's very interesting that the, the way that graph has moved in a particular way that almost like what you're doing on, on black book. Yeah. I mean, that's your study. Yeah. That's yeah. your study. That's yeah. where you... It's, do you know what it is for me? It's like... You know, like with graph, you know, everyone talks about their eras, you know, what's your favourite era or whatever it might be. And, and generally people will say, you know, the era when they was most active or, or you know, when they got whatever it was. And mm. for me, I'd always say, yeah, no, early 2000s because I might have done three years of painting, do you know what I mean? But I've got about in them three years what I like to think I did anyway. People go, you're talking bollocks, but I like to think I did. Um, <laughs> We're only any of it. <laughs> no comments below, thank you. <laughs> but... Um, that was a great era for me. It, I, I love the era, but you know, everyone's everyone's a little bit different. Um, you know, some people will say, you know, like uh, today's era, they're not keen on it. You know, there's Instagram, there's all this stuff. I mean, for me, I love it. Yeah, I love it because for me, it's like you can see, right? You know, fucking back in the day, we used to have to go to the internet cafe, nick two quid off your mum, stick it in, and get up. You know. I can't even remember what the website was, Digital Jungle. They don't know how hard like we had it. Yeah, know. that's it. Digital yeah. Jungle, wasn't it? Digital Jungle. Yeah, something like that. And, yeah. and, and these days, you know, you can just fucking flip on Instagram, you know, and you've just got black book stuff, you know, yeah. just all, all sorts of shit, you know, trains, black books. But that, does that shit dilute it? See. Does that dilute yeah. certain aspects, like stylistically? Yeah. Like there was always a, a London style, now you're catching, you know, different... Yeah, yeah, and and they sort of integrate, don't they? A little yeah. bit. You can see where you what's, know. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I like the 
yeah, I suppose I'll always like that London style, that square, blocky sort of style. You know, I used to look at stuff and think, oh, I'm not really keen on that. But, you know, you had, used to have people like Nims, Moaz and all that. I used to yeah. fucking love them. <sighs> They're different, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite, you know, I, I like all sorts now. I think my, back in the day, I'd be like, no, I can't stand that sort of stuff. I just like the London blocky style, that, you know, that does me. But now, I think... Um, you know, I, I love, I love also, I love wild style. I, I've got so many writers that I love, you know, um, but all different styles, you know. Yeah. So as I was saying, you know, obviously Zombie was a fucking massive influence to, you know, probably and everyone, people, everyone, yeah, and, you know. The name um, that keeps on getting mentioned. Yeah. You know, but, the time. you know, people like uh, Defy. So Defy yeah. for me yeah, was yeah. a fucking, Geezer's a monster. Pies know, was just always... Pies, yeah, he used to get about, yeah, yeah. yeah he, and, and he's got a nice style, simple style. You know, Mood, of course, you know, yeah, he had a rest nice... In peace, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, he had a He had a, a great style as well. But then, like, you know, for me, it's, it's endless, you know. I like Croc style, you know, it's slightly yeah. different. But it's also the name, it's like... Pies as a name is like... It, you remember it just oh. for the letters and the name alone. Yeah, and he's put in so much work in it. Yeah. I mean, fuck me. I don't know, that geezer's got about and he's... And he's still at it, you know. Yeah, like, fair play to him, fair play to him. Give some more stories. Give some more archive. Let me throw that <laughs> rod in the wall and give it a shake. I don't know. Do you know what? I suppose I'd probably have to, to take it back to when I first started writing, really. And it, it's probably for me, you know, I suppose you could have called me, you know, everyone's a toy at one point. But for me, when I first started writing, I, was, I think I was a little bit of a controversial character. And the reason I say that is because... I didn't realise, I didn't quite understand the hierarchy, so I'd think, that's a nice spot, I'm going to take that out. That's a nice spot, I'm going to take that out. And these <laughs> are writers, I'm thinking, oh, fucking hell, I shouldn't have done that. So, you know, I won't mention any names, but I'd taken out quite a few different people, not really realising until I got a bit of a shake-up. So like, what the fuck are you doing? This is where the algorithm starts going crazy and <laughs> yeah. comments start popping up. Right? Yeah, I remember this, Skeezer. He's right, <laughs> fucking No, but I did, you know, and I, and I didn't really realise at the time. I suppose I was a 15-year-old kid just painting, thinking, yeah, I want to paint that, I want to paint that. Um, and I took out one, maybe one too many people. But what I would say is, you know, when people met me, they say, oh, no, actually, he's all right, you know. And I think anyone who, who knows me or who's met me would say, no, he's... He's all right, but it wouldn't have come across like that. You'd think, who's this cocky fucker just taking it's us a public out, service you know? announcement here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, on behalf of the whole Sorry to everyone I took out back in the day, you know. <laughs> Didn't mean it. Um, but, yeah. Um, that, yeah. That happens when you're growing into it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you kind of cut your chops the hard way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you sort of, you think, yeah, I shouldn't have really done it. It's only when I look back, I think, well. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was I thinking, you mm. know? Um, but it's all part of it, innit? You know, you live and learn, and, uh, yeah, you live and learn, and, and that's it, really. But, yeah, it was not intended or nothing like that, so... I think a lot of the public, the wider public, don't actually understand the 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 real inner code. No. They just see the thing sharp, but yeah. they don't know that... the. Back, the dramas, the backstories, the the things yeah. you have to do to even even having to practice. Yeah. Back to the black book, back to doing it on a surface. Yeah, yeah. And so, like they don't realise that how much time and yeah. you know personal time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? It becomes a, a real lifestyle, and people don't often see that when they yeah. see a single p- piece. And, and do you know, what? it's it's a funny thing, really, because I think. You know, for me, I, I, f- I find it quite difficult to speak to someone who doesn't understand graph or they don't understand the thrill f- better than any drug. Paint the train better than any drug out there, uh, you know. But when you, you can talk to other writers or you, so, you, know, you understand, you get it. Yeah. But I find it difficult to, pe- to talk to other people um, about, like, yeah, I used to graph or... And they'd be like, what, you know? It's like a children's thing, so I, I, I tend not to say much. I tend to well, it's long. keep it secret, yeah. and you know, I've got my own thing, and I'll you know, I talk to certain people, but others, I just, I just don't bother yeah. because they don't understand it. Nah. And that's why these sorts of podcasts and you know, getting this sort of insight and how popular it's becoming these days with street art, and you know, it's 
it's I think it's probably for me one of it's got to be the best time to be around with yeah. all the stuff that is going on for with sure got to be I'm a fan of street I haven't got yeah. anything against it but yeah. what one thing that I th I can appreciate gets the goat on a lot of writers is the fact that they're lily pad leaping off of the endurance that yeah, others had that's to, it. Yeah, yeah. No. had to put up with. Yeah, this is it. And I suppose it's always that one we're all for one, one for another. Do you know, it's, you know, what dictates a street artist and a vandal. Do you know mm. what I mean? I see pieces out there, freehand, you know, fucking just... Yeah, spot But on. other people wouldn't necessarily realise it because, I don't know, it's not... Fuck, no, it's got, I don't know you know, got a, a face or portrait or something. So, yeah. listen, I, I've got enough against street eyes. Each to their own, whatever makes you happy. That's, that's the way I see it. I'm all good for that. But uh, I understand why people get the ump and, mm. you know... Um, well, they get put in a bracket. Double standards. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you if you separate, and a lot of street eyes will be like, well, yeah, but we don't consider ourselves right. As you know, the, yeah. the, the, the concentration is on other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there still is that in the back of the mind from a... From a Joe Public point of view, yeah. That how can you separate? How can you not allow a yeah. tag and allow that? Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. I think that's the biggest grey area, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. And uh, do you know what? And, and you notice the difference. Like back in the day, you know, I was a spotty teenager. Uh, you know, you go out, you have hoodie on, tracksuits, baseball cap. You know, you look hot, bag of paint. Old Bill would be, you know, pulling you all the time. You're constantly getting chased. You're always getting chased for one thing or another. These days, you know, you can pick up a spot. I mean, no one tells you it's legal, but you can paint it. I've had it before. You're painting, the old Bill pull up. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just painting. Oh, is this like a street arty sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. And they leave you alone, you know. Back in the day, you'd be fucking marched away, do you know? Yeah. So it is, it's good in that sense. But, yeah, times... Times have certainly changed. They've certainly changed. Um, Do you think also some of that is because the age of the culture, like the people that are pulling you up? Yeah. You know they, you know they're, they're either your age or younger, and they've seen the the whole scene elevate, and they've been a part of that. I mean, I remember back in two thousand two, coming back off tour, mm. and I felt no greater love for the city than seeing a zonk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing yeah. a teach, yeah. seeing a plug, seeing as yeah. you're coming in, you yeah. know, to Highgate or wherever you're coming from, the M1 or wherever. Yeah. You know, there was just something about that. And I think that probably translates to a lot of people that they would have experienced it personally at one stage or another growing up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, yes, it's true. I think, um, I suppose, again, there's just a lot more acceptance. It's sort of, it, you know, in, in a way it's merged, you know. I suppose back in the day... Yeah, it weren't like, you know, you've got shops like this, that's fantastic, you know, brilliant, you've got shops here, you know, shops in Stockwell, you know, they're all, they're, they're, they're sort of dotted around now, um, and you've got all these, like, you know, if you want to call them open air art galleries, and the tourists love it, and some geezers charging a load of tourists fucking 25 quid what do you to think of that? the wall. What do you think about the, the people that go around, you know, <laughs> doing tourists to talks? Do you know what? Like I say, I, I, I can see how people get pissed off a bit, but for me, I'm like, you know, live and let live in it. It's good luck to you. That's the way I look at it, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, I, I probably don't have too much of a say on it. Um, I suppose it's one of them. I like to, you know, these days, like I say, I just sit there and paint legals, but at the same time, I it annoys me having people come up to me every five minutes go, can I take a picture? Or yeah. what does that say? Or and just, was like, just fuck off. Rock stars, you know? see? Rock yeah. stars. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so I suppose in that sense, it's nice to, you know, think about um, how it used to be, you know, and uh, mm. reliving, reliving my youth. And um, yeah, I think, I can't remember where it was. You had someone on this podcast and, you know, it really hit home. I can't remember. They were saying like you know, the the atmosphere or or the feeling you get when you're, you know, at a layup at a yard, three four o'clock in the morning, your your senses are heightened in it. You know, mm. you can hear every little thing drop, move. You know, you're a bit para, uh, but to get in there, get your dub done, get out mm. that feeling of oh, it's just fucking. It's like, can't describe it. 
Um, I mean, that's gonna shit. I mean, well, I mean, for starters, I've got tinnitus after years of touring, so, <laughs> yeah. so all I'll be hearing is, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm already a handicap. Do you know what I went on? Uh, I went and done, I went and done a dub on tracks. Uh, fuck me, it was years ago now, but I hadn't painted for a while. And uh, Bros had said to me, oh, do you want to go and, do you want to go and do a dub? And I was like, yeah, fuck it, come on. And I'd been working, I hadn't been painting. Yeah, come on, let's go, you know. <laughs> and my senses, you know, they were sort of, they was gone. And I, I just forgot how close some, some to, on this particular one, how close the trains come. And I was sort of shat myself and thinking like, fucking hell, yeah, you know, just, just get you going, really, get you going. What's the feeling, what's the feeling like? I suppose it's, um... I suppose it's exhilarating in a way, you know, it's like nerves, anxiety, uh, buzz, I don't know, it's like ecstasy on ecstasy, do you know, I don't fucking know, just the only way I can describe it, but um, yeah, I, I miss that, I miss that side of things, I miss sort of close calls, it's, in a, it's weird isn't it, but I, I miss that. That like, is weird, because, I miss shit like yeah, that. because that shit would just, the paranoia in me the next day of like, it would just, it would drive me insane. I mean... I think to a lot of people as well that aren't seasoned in Yeah, no, I think this is, this is the thing, like, we used to be so hot back in the day, you know, like, you know, Nick, I mean, he's a funny fuck, I ain't seen him for years. But the, the geezer just didn't give a fuck, like, I, I think it was, we used to go, this is how hot we were, and just, you know, we'd go and paint tracks at five o'clock in the evening, rush hour, you know, just fucking walk off the platform, it didn't, didn't matter what station it was, just, just proper hot, just walk off the end of the platform, you know, get across to the sides. You know, there's trains every fucking five seconds. That shit's dangerous, dude. Yeah, proper, yeah, yeah. But you just... It's just how it was. As I say, like, as kids, we was just... Fuck, you brought up on the railways. It was weird, you know. As a seven, eight-year-old kid, I'd be up on the tracks fucking about and, you know, I feel terrible now, but throwing stones and shit like that, you know. Um, so you were sort of brought up on it and uh, it just become a normal thing, you know. Um it just become a normal thing. You'd have certain tracks, you'd know your ways up. Others, you'd go to like places that you didn't know. And, you know, as I say, I was like 15 at the time, so my mum would be like... You're immortal, you don't matter, yeah. Yeah, and this is it, but I couldn't say to my mum, I'm out all night, so I won't be, I wouldn't be doing all nighters or nothing like that. Be like, yeah, no, I'm just going out, I'll be back about eight, just nine Just got my paper round in about an hour, so I'm just going <laughs> to yeah. get there early. <laughs> so I think back and I think, fuck me, we was hot. But do you know what? I never got nicked for graph, not That's once. Incredible. Never got nicked. So, a, a few close calls, but I never got nicked, um, which was good. Um, few and far between to to hear that. Yeah, oh. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had a few people on podcasts that haven't, but you know, I can count them on one hand. Yeah, I, I think for us, really, what happened, you know, as I say, we, we had these active years, and you know, ribs of my brother, they was. You know, they was partners in crime, innit? and the ribs of my brother, they, they got nicked. And then I think what happened was, ribs got nicked with someone else. And then he ended up, you know, he went jail. And um, and it all sort of flatlined a bit, and he, his other brother had shit going on at the time. There was, was all sorts of shit going on right. at the time, and it sort of, everything went on a bit of a downer, and sort of put the paint down, and yeah. never really sort of rekin rekindled it, you know, so... Um, What's interesting is that you didn't get grip, but you still you put the paint down. Maybe that was a that that moment there was like a warning sign of sorts. Yeah, I suppose. Do you know what it was for me? I mean, everyone's different. Everyone's got their own story in it. I mean, for me, you know, I, from a young age, you know, I sort of know what I wanted to do. I wanted to. I wanted to get a good career. You know, like my mum and dad. I mean, my mum, God bless her. I've got rest of her soul. Um, yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. She. Um, she was a grafter, you know, but she didn't have any money. My old man, you know, he had a run-of-the-mill job. He didn't have much money and, you know, we was brought up in the estate and, and that was, you know, it was good, you know. It, it was, there was no problem with that, you know. But no. I think from a young age, you know, it was always like, you know, get a trade or get something and don't fuck it up. And, and that's what I've done and I run with it, you know. Yeah. And yeah. then I met my missus, you know, I met my missus when I was 19 going into 20 and... You know, I'm 37 yet now, so oh, we've been, been together, together a long, a long time. time. Yeah, yeah, and when I was with her, I thought, <clears throat> nah, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put her through that, you know, so I just sort of stepped away, and, and that was me, really. Um, yeah, I've not even fucking, I've not even, 
Proper goody goody route. I've not even tagged the fucking train. Nothing. Nothing. Really? It was just like. Just, Fuck all. Just put it down. I say I'll come back. Done one dub. Stopped. And that was me. I remember you backing it down. I remember ribs as well. That's, that yeah. clock, clock thing he had going on. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. He's a. I think for anyone who knows ribs, he's a character. I think. You know what? <laughs> I'll take it back again because this was one of my influences. And I, again, talking about uh, the thrill of it. <laughs> hey, go um, and this was me as a kid, you know. You, Ribs was sort of, what, six years older than me. And I think Pine, he might remember this actually. I reckon, he might, I reckon he might have been on, on <laughs> around, around. But what happened was, um... <laughs> so I think his mum and dad had gone away. So they had gone away for a weekend and his aunt was down uh, looking after him and his brothers and his sister. And uh, she sent him to go and get a Chinese. And uh, he's, <laughs> so he's gone to get a Chinese. And on the way back, you, you like you pass a police station, so he's bombed the police station. There's a cop has seen him, and he's fucking bolted from the police station back to his house, which is you know uh, you know it's a good sort of it's a fifteen minute walk or a fucking eight minute run. I don't know, a seven minute sprint if you like. And I remember he was all on the grass outside his house because uh, we used to play football and that. He was all on the grass outside his house, and you just see him go. <laughs> Bolt posh, bag of Chinese still in hand, ducked in his ass, and then all of a sudden, police car, police car, police car, police, and I'm not exaggerating, there must have been about seven or eight police it's cars. A Benny Hill sketch. Lined up the street, there was just everything, what the fuck's going on here? And um, you just see police out, might, you know, they're on their walkie talkies, they're hunting, they're asking, oh, has anyone seen? And I suppose this was a very, very early lesson. Um, some young fella who lived on the estate, uh, probably like the cardinal sin, or the cardinal's error, whatever yeah, yeah. you want to put it, he, he must have said to the old Bill, oh, I see him, he went in that ass. <laughs> and he got, Ooh. old Bill had gone in the ass and they found him, sorry, they found him uh, hiding Ooh. in a cupboard. And uh, yeah, the young fella, I think, got weighed in. Uh, so that was like, yeah, you don't want to be doing that. But that, again, it was the thrill. I mean, I was only, I must have been eight or nine at the time. But the thrill of seeing all the old Bill, seeing him get away or seeing him run and, you know, it was like... Uh, and just, I remember just fucking all the different kids from the estate all being out. Oh, what the the attention on, on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And it was like, yeah, that's, you know. Yeah. We I have a bit of that, that's thrill. me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, that's just how it was, you know. I suppose most kids, you know, we used to fuck about and do stuff, you know, to get a chase from the old trouble. Bill. Trouble. Yeah, just being just little trouble, fuckers, you know. yeah. Not harming anyone, you know, but just, you know, I don't know, throwing a mud bomb at a police car or whatever the fuck it might have been, you know. So, um, yeah, it was just part and parcel of growing up on the estate, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. A beautiful era. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was, they, they was, was, those was uh, good times, really. There was, there was quite a few writers, I mean, uh, around them times, they might not have necessarily been known, but they was the older, older boys around there that we sort of used to look up to. And then Ribs, of course, was a, he was a big influence. Again, I'd love to see some of his old black books, um, some of his old pictures, but I know the police took a lot. I don't think he got any of them back. Because uh. I've said to him, every, I'll still go out and have a beer with him every now and then, you know, we'll still have a pint or whatever. And I, I don't know how many times I've said to him, where's your fucking pictures gone? You must have some, you know, uh. I, mean, I want to see them. But he was a massive influence, you know, he was a ma massive influence and a good writer as well. Um, and a funny fucker, to yeah. be fair. So, You've yeah. got to have camaraderie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got to be a vibe. Yeah, that's it. That's it. it becomes more than graft, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, as I say, it was close family ties. You know, Ribs, his brother, me, my brother, and we was all writers. Mm. I mean, can I class myself? Yeah, I think I could back in the day. Yeah, I'd say I was a writer. I'm not now, but I could say I was a writer back in the day. And, yeah, we just used to... It's just what it's just, just going paint. Oh, you know, I used to be painting all the time. I didn't have to do fuck all else. You know, I went to school. And I didn't do that much, so it was go out paint. You know, as mm. I say, my mum was a grafter. You know, um, and back then I tried. You know, I was never very good at uh, raising paint. I think the first time I tried to raise from Old Kent Road B and Q, I got nicked. And I tried to go back in there a few weeks later and got caught again, so I gave that up pretty quickly. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, and then it was, you know, you get your local your plastic coats and shit like that we used to use um, until, I think it was set up, 
Shout out, set up. Yeah, big up set up. I think it was set up that on, uh, put us in touch with, uh, well, I just call him the postman to be fair. Put us in touch with him and I used to get all my Montanas from him. And really? He was a good guy and uh, yeah, and <laughs> was it £2.50 a can I think it was? And you just made, you see a whole huddle of writers around this geezer, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, wow. And that's what it was. Yeah, and I suppose you had Sir Shop in Croydon. Uh, yeah, that's right. Big up, Sir. Yeah, and then, right. of course, uh, yeah, Steez and Shaman. Yeah, big thing, up. Sir. HQ, that's Yeah, the one. good times. Good times. Bad any, time. any regrets? Um, yeah. Uh, my only regret, I'd say, that, you know what, I always had this thing... I always wanted to get in, and I'll see if Vex had done it recently. There's uh, the tube yard. That used to be, you know, it used to be a chip shop. I used to walk past it all the time. And I used to always think, I want to fucking go to that tube yard. But I didn't know how you get in or, or anything like that. And um, I always wanted to do it. I never did. I'd love to have done yeah. that. That's probably my regret. Yeah. Um, other than that, no, I think, uh, yeah, we had good times, you know. We got back. we done what we'd done. I always had a camera, so I took as many pictures as I could. I ain't got them all, but I've got yeah. most. That's rare. Yeah, yeah. That's rare. I always had a camera, always, always had a camera. And um, again, this is how fucking hot I was. I was so fucking hot. I'd have a camera, I'd take all the pictures, and I'd go to my mum, oh, mum, do me a favour. When you get paid, develop these pictures. She used to get them developed opposite the same police station that ribs bombed in a chemist. Stop Yeah, it. proper bait, like pictures of me, just... And I think back and I think, <laughs> good God, I don't know how I didn't get collared, but... Wow. There you go, luck must have been on my side. Lucky oh, yeah. Irish, I suppose. Yeah, so. that's right, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> the moons and the stars and orbits and stuff like that, <laughs> that's right? it, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, well, all's, all's well that ends well, I guess. That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so. you're still out there now doing the thing? Yeah, still out there now. I think... Um, I sort of, yeah, I'll go out and I'll do bits on my... You know, I'll, I sort of go out on my own, to be fair. I'm one of these, I'm an early riser. So I'm out in the mornings, every now and then I've, I paint with, with a few of the guys and that, but um, yeah, I'm a bit of a bit of a lone wolf, I suppose, and just, yeah, just go and do my thing. And, just do your thing. Yeah, yeah, it suits me, it suits me. I think back in the day when I used to paint, I was the same. I, I never used to like going in big, big crowds of people, just because lots of attention. Mm. Some people were hot, you know, people would panic, fucking, you know, you get chased, you're trying to get down a wall, you've got someone panicking, mm. trying to push, and... So it was always Palama. me, bros, that was it, or yeah. me, bros, maybe ribs, elf. You know, there weren't many of us, there, yeah. you know, there weren't many of us or me, foul, um, set up. You know, there was just, just a few of us, really, that would go and do things. And sometimes I'd go on my own because it yeah. suited me, you know. So yeah, meditation. I was a weird kid like that. Really? But, uh, yeah, yeah. But, know, yeah. It. Still the same today. Still the same today. <laughs> My yeah. brother, it's been a fucking pleasure having you Thank on. You. Thank you. We very got much. deep on that one. Thank you that very was much. fantastic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Thanks for having me. Hours. Cheers. Killer Killer Podcast. Come on. Crime and Black, you know who we are. Um, big shout out to everybody that's tuning in, sharing is caring, spreading the word and all that. Listen, crime don't pay, but neither do they. All right. <laughs> don't talk to anyone I wouldn't, and you stay lucky, people. Beam. Nice one. Cheers. Easy. <laughs>